haven't been here for years. Which way do we go? Up. Up it is. This is the core chamber. Banku taught me how to use the Arca to operate the service lifts. I used to play here. Uh, not exactly a safe playground. Banku didn't know, of course. It didn't used to be this cold in here. Looks different, too. The lifts will take us to Banku's private rooms. Before I got my own place, this is where I used to live. From there we can access the control room and turn off the security system so Bulb can get in. What if Banku won't listen to reason? Then he'll turn on the ether bridge. But he'll listen. I know he will. But I'm afraid I may have to face him alone. In Banku's eyes, you'll always be the one who turned me against him. Whatever you need, Anne. Talk about something. Uh, I can't think of anything. Did you really work at the plant? I actually designed it. Back then, I thought it would be a power plant producing anima from crystals. And when you found out what it was? I knew I had to stop it. Not just the plant, Banku as well. I explained my thoughts to Rin, the supervisor of the plant, remember? How could I forget? We were pretty close back then. She ratted me out, and before I knew it, I was stripped of my validation sticker and had to escape the plant chest over heels. Then what? I found a place on the ground, and a few like-minded forgottenings. Bob wanted your Arca, but I was sure you'd join our side once you saw what you saw. That was risky. It worked, didn't it? I guess we'll find out. He'll be at the atrium at the very top, with his ether bridge. Pretty photo. I'd stand on that balcony every night, close my eyes, and feel the rain on my face. I had no idea Banku took this photo. It's from the day I moved out. You know he got me a bike for my birthday once? It was this horrible old thing he found who knows where. But I loved that bike. First time I rode it was in here. I knocked over a desk and two lamps.
Fig, what if he won't listen to me? Take a look at this place, Anne. You're his whole life. You just need to remind him. This door is Bonku's private study. I was never allowed in there. I was never allowed in here. This is the place closest to the ether. Bonku went in here when he wanted to think and be alone. All these stories from the ether gathered in the same room. This must be the closest thing to the human world you can get without actually being there. Why didn't he let you in here? He never told me. This is the way to the atrium. It won't move. We have to shut down the security systems before we can go up. The door to the security room is in here somewhere. Our security systems from here. Depleters, gate controls, mirrors, you name it. Let's get to it. There's a bunch of switches. I'll take the one up there.
bulb to blow the wall. Let's hope we won't make it. Drag this out any longer. Let's go. Did that thing just move on its own? I think so.
think you can change anything? Do you think you know what is right and wrong? Nothing is black or white. There is only black. Tick-tock. Only oh, more darkness. Every time you forgive someone, you encourage, you encourage them, them to betray you again. You should never give up on anyone. You know I'm right. The truth hurts. The truth may hurt, but I'm done lying. Anne, could you stop the jabbering and help me? Fig? Of course. Hang on, I'm on my way. Hmm. Kira, do you see Anne? Everybody's looking out for themselves. What will you do now? Distill me? I can't distill you, Tink. There must be another way. To whom am I speaking now? Are you, are you Anne the Rebel? Or are you the Anne I used to know? And we need to get going. If she won't move, make her. Are you hearing this? Everyone is self-serving creatures, only looking out for themselves. Tick tock, let go of your morals and ethics. Ruin others, or you are ruined yourself. It's not true, Tink. And enough talking. Let's go. I can't. Tink and I grew up together. Please understand. Slightest change off course, and I would have ended up like her. And she's not Tink anymore. I need to hear what she has to say. You will listen to me. I need to know more, and I want to help you. Why? If I can understand you, then maybe you think you can understand yourself through me. You ever cared about anyone but yourself? You're right. I haven't always been exemplary. Isn't it true that you only care about others when they're of use to you? No, that's not true. I'm not like that. <laughs> Such naive honesty. I told you. I know how you think and feel. I've been following your journey. Every time you've stood by a mirror, I've seen you. I've heard you. I've heard you. Lend me your eyes, Tick Tock. Look at this. Let's try to match your words with your actions, shall we? Remember what you just said? You should never give up on anyone. Self-esteem did not be foreign for you. Mr. Fig, as many call him, often hangs out at a bar downtown called Scrappers. You know, where they record Realm Radio. The old theater? Yeah, the entrance is in there. Here, take this ticket. I must admit, you surprised me, yeah? I've asked you before. Now tell me truthfully. What if I refused to let you speak to the Master? Would you distill me? No. I 
would never distill you, Tink. Everyone around! Tink, tap into things. You almost had me persuaded. I will never ever let you know to the master. No, not in my soul. In my soul. Do Do you your heart! Sorry, Anne. There was no other way. Come on. 